Good morning guys, it's a TV here. Welcome back to another video. Today is the 11th of May and today is Manchester University's open day. It's their last one so I've got to fit this one in before my exams and make my final UCAS firm choice insurance choice. Uh, going to Manchester University today and looking around will help me choose um, between Manchester and Durham, which one to the firm, which one to insurance and go from there. So this morning I woke up, uh, had a shower, um, had my breakfast, just got changed and yeah so I've got to go with my parents and uh, we're going to go drop my sisters off to school then we're going to be on a four hour drive to Manchester, spend the whole day there, um, the open day there is from one till four. Um, then if I get time hopefully look around uh, Man City Stadium come on <laughs> and hopefully Old Trafford as well if we get time yeah because I've got to know how far they are from the uni <laughs> and then I think we're going around to a to a guest's house as well so today I'm just gonna be vlogging the whole journey just how I did like my X to one um, that video turned out quite good with Carlos and um, I think it would be a good idea to do one for Manchester as well. So let's go. You know what? I have to give a special shout out to someone um, because I'm struggling to pick between Durham and Manchester. I've decided to join a bunch of group chats um, of people who have firmed. Uh, each of the unis and basically the Durham group chats have been mad with that amount of activity and the non-deadness let's say of the group chats um and having told everyone that i'm picking between Durham and manchester they're obviously biased in picking making me pick um Durham but I told them that the open day today and special shout out to Matt, he put down a countdown days till the 11th, um, hyping it up. So if I end up at Durham or not, shout out to you <laughs> and shout out to the whole group chat. You guys are amazing. <laughs> this is honestly. Man's organised. But when I come back, oh, <laughs> A-level maths mechanics is the worst. <laughs> in A2. What a terrible day it is. No. We have stopped at a service station halfway on the journey and oh my god the weather's terrible it was such a good day yesterday but look at it now so easy to get lost, it's huge. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll sit this with my clothes. <laughs> That's the input I have for you. <laughs> have a go. Yeah, no, you can go. <laughs> they just look like guys. Yeah, they got their Oh, they do. That's fine. Okay, wow, the differences are so minor. There's like. You can see them. Yeah, um, doesn't help because I've got contact lenses <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yeah, um, is that eight or seven? <laughs> That's seven, okay. That, that, that is seven, all right. That's a good place to start. <laughs> all right, there's seven in there. That's a star. I really want to see those tubes. Oh, they're over there. Uh, I mean, there's two over there, so I'll just, I'll just ask them. Oh, really? Or maybe it's not good. So. No, it's not that. I've got to my parents this. Where are you from? I'm from... <laughs> uh, yeah, but they just dropped me off and just buggered off. <laughs> They're like, nope. Look at those floors. Wow. It will. <laughs> I did the same thing when I went to Exeter. I went to Exeter's open day. Yeah. yeah. But I just... This is the Stafford Library. It's a small library because it's just the Stafford building. Um, but you can probably see here there's um, a lot of desks for you to work in. You can do uh, you can use a laptop or um, notebook or whatever. A study room um, where you can book in the library system, you can book it and then you can use it because it's, it's either raining, too cold, or I'm just I'd rather stay inside. So, yeah, but you can. One of the Nobel laureates here in Manchester, and then I think Michael Smith. And these three buildings are kind of all these. Just your parents in. Do they I should have. Um, <sighs> I, think, I think you said you want, if you want to switch the body back in the first year, this is where you're going to be if you don't want to do the first year. If you sort of switch at the end of the first year, do you have to like start from year one? Or no, just... so you'll go into the second year of medicine. Okay. Uh, but yeah, again, the details you can have to wait yeah. for the first year and they'll give you a talk and you can uh -huh. figure it out. Is no. your parents here? Oh, well? Nah. <laughs> no, I would not be. No, my parents just ran off. They're like, I don't associate yeah. with him. Again, as I said, it's a very teaching book. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of like, Say hi to the camera. Hi, thanks, Mom. This is the optometric uh, kind of division. It's where you even have some kind of research labs. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of research labs kind of focus on the other buildings because it's very much a teaching, uh, teaching oriented. Uh, Gives me like American high school vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you feel like the whole, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like very narrow. Quite yeah. Cool. Stockport is actually one of the biggest buildings in campus. Um, it has a lot of room for our stuff. As I said, there's, uh, I don't know if you've been told, there's a cadaver stuff outside them on the top floor. Door! <laughs> That's how it's convinced you to come to so you saw yes. one nice door. Yes, I, I saw a swivel door. What are they even called? Swivel doors, right? <laughs> One of Manchester's biggest mysteries. <laughs> oh.
I'm not gonna lie, I like the concept. I like the concept. <laughs> It feels magical. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is that you don't have to go into a car, you don't have to go into the lobby, you can go straight. I know we said it's a good place. And here in Michael Smith now. It's Michael Smith building. It's fun how the corridors are so long. I've never seen anything like that at school. left me here and started running off, but I would have no clue where I am. I, I feel like I'm acting like a tourist right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I went to Exeter, I feel like the main difference is there's no seagulls here. Ooh. It is. You gotta give it its credit. Come on, you have to mm. And because Biomed was such a big group. Mm. 
What do you think is the best place to eat out at Manchester? Cook yourself, if you want to say anything. But if you All want right. to eat out, uh, there's a lot of places in Chinatown. Uh -huh. uh, I think Chinatown, because I like Asian food. Uh, so Chinatown has really good, I think Manchester Chinatown is one of the best around. So you do a lot of food there. Oh, I'm going to miss my mum's cooking. <laughs> you know, if you have lectures, you can hang out here. Maybe have some lunch if you're hungry. I think it's quite clear that it says Lecture Theatre B. <laughs> VIPs. <laughs> we, we are, we're VIPs. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to be students, so you are very easy. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, this is where you're supposed to lectures, it's going to be a lot. Just because Wow. It's really quite difficult there. It's getting close to 100 feet. And so when you have you know, big degrees like mathematical sciences, shared um, or two degrees, you have them here. And all the courses are aligned. Now, for example, if you want to teach one of them. You have love, like, um, you know, you have five guys, like, you know, you have, like, concerts, or anything. Oh, is that the guy? Yeah, the gold Rutherford model. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was from why? That's one thing I know, if I come here I'm gonna get the season pass for city for sure. <laughs> It's four o'clock now, tour's finished. Hope I managed to give you an insight. I'm just 
walking away from the Stopford building, the University of Manchester, basically. I've got no clue where I'm going. <laughs> Check this out. This is such a massive building, such a massive city. But everywhere you turn, you find something different. Look at that. Yeah, not gonna lie. I feel like I fit in. Made a friend on the tour. We got on really well in the lab practicals and the tour. And she knows this area quite well, so yeah, I, I like it. It's nice. It's a nice city. The key question is. Now we're off to Etihad Stadium of the team I support, Manchester City. Let's go. Manchester's blue. Um, and if I get time, uh, we'll pop by Old Trafford, Man United. Uh, I don't know. After that, I think we're off to a guest's house and we should be back home. Now we have, a, we have come to the typical Manchester. Even though Manchester is a big city, it seems like a suitable student city. That lecture was really good, the tour was really good, the amount of facilities they've got is really good. Their clubs and societies is really good. I do think I can genuinely have a really good time here. So, let's move ahead and I think I'm going to end up firm in Manchester. Meaning I put Durham as my insurance. Off to Etihad Stadium now, hopefully. Oh, Etihad Stadium, but we're not gonna go there because we have to go to someone's house first. Look! Look! Oh my gosh! Etihad Airways is their sponsor. Look how nice it is! All the cars are in the way, but we're going all hey! <laughs> okay. Mate, look at this! Look at this! This is a madness. Etihad Stadium, home to Manchester City FC. Come on, there's a dog unit there. Look at that. It doesn't get any more real than this. Uh, I can't spend that much time here because I have got to go because my family are going somewhere. Um, we've just come from a from a cousin's house in Manchester. But look, Edison, Carl Walker. I don't know who the middle two are, but wow! There's someone recording something there. Wow. Okay, let me tell you one thing for sure. When I move to Manchester University, I'm going to be coming here a lot more often. Look at that. Champions 2020 to 2021. Gwindawan, Foden, De Bruyne, Fernandinho, Mares. I think they said they were going to make a Aguero statue somewhere. Citizens Lane. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I am definitely going to be coming here a lot more. Just the vibe of being here, you know what, this is one of my main factors why I want to come uh, to Manchester University. Look at that. It has really just happened, hasn't it? Wow. Can't believe it. Just the blue, look at the blue everywhere. I assume that's how... Wow, look at that. I imagine this gets really busy during matches. As you can imagine. Quite a lot of vlogs will be taking place here. Oh shoot, my battery's gonna die. Um, yeah, so I am officially at Etihad Stadium. I think this is my second time. This is my second time I've ever been to Etihad Stadium in my life. And it is completely different in person than it is in the pictures. I'm happy. Let's go. I think I'm going to have time to visit Old Trafford because we've got another cousin's house to go to. But Old Trafford, Man United are terrible anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Manchester's blue. You're going to come at the front? You're going to be okay?
It's 2 a.m. We're still not home. Finally got home. It's three a.m. And that marks the end of Manchester University's offer holder open day. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Probably gonna miss school tomorrow as well because I have gotten to go to sleep. Can you even hear me? But I think I'm gonna find Manchester. Manchester was really cool and I liked that atmosphere, I liked the city, I liked the other applicants there, I liked the students there, the people were nice, it seemed like I'd fit in, so many factors, most importantly I'm really close to Etihad Stadium, Compton City Blue, blue. All right, I'm going to sleep. Goodbye, everyone. Vacation to school life. I've still decided to come into the sick form. And wow, I am so tired and dead. I've never felt so energyless before. But why have I come into school? Because now I'm motivated to go out and achieve three A's and fulfil that Manchester offer. So yeah, you should try and find the motivation for yourself too. Bye.